the deadliest crash on an American highway in 20 years and a warning for every driver in the country. There was a fiery pileup in Florida when a sudden blinding super fog rolled in its mist and smoke. And take a look at this picture through a front dashboard window. You can see the hood of the car, but absolutely nothing else. And there are those newly released 911 tapes taking us inside the fog with the drivers who could hear the collisions all around them. ABC's Matt Gutman is in Florida tonight. Tonight, <coughs> the very moment of impact. Oh my God, what is going on? In these just released 911 tapes, you can hear the apocalyptic scene unfold. One witness estimates cars were going as fast as 80 miles an hour straight into the wreckage. <laughs> Another accident. Okay. Oh my God. What just happened? Tell me what happened. Tell another accident. Me. Another accident. Oh my goodness. And that was a truck. In this mash of mangled steel and bodies, at least 10 dead, 20 hurt. The skeletons of 18 wheelers and cars smoldered for hours after the pileup on I-75 early Sunday morning south of Gainesville, Florida. You hear cracks and thuds and, and, and bumps and, and hits. You just hear the sound of metal breaking. Stephen Randall Camps was in a car wedged between two semis. Well, you hear people crying, you hear people, you know, you know, just basically asking why. The fog was so dense that, you know, you, you could literally get out of the car and you can hold up your hand, you wouldn't see it. Authorities blame the carnage on what's called a super fog, a combination of ash from a nearby brush fire mixing with water particles, creating a wall of fog that's completely impenetrable. It forms quickly and visibility drops to near zero. You get a feel for just how dangerous it is from this clip from local station Bay News 9 after similar conditions cost four lives in 2008. You can't see me anymore in this smoke. Sunday's haze was so thick, rescuers had to locate victims by their moans and screams. Authorities had temporarily closed the road following two earlier accidents on Saturday, then reopened it. Minutes later, devastation. The roadway appeared to be clear and, and uh, uh, able to be navigated, uh, and then it can change just in an instant. And 36 hours later, Diane, authorities are still trying to identify the victims and also the sequence of collisions. They're also trying to figure out why the decision was made to reopen that road. A very dangerous one, they say. So authorities say if you find yourself on such a road, crack the window. Even if you can't see the cars in front of you, you might be able to hear them. And again, the sound of those drivers with those 911 calls, Matt. What have you learned tonight about what caused that smoke? Well, the authorities are saying it might have been arson. They've ruled out that any lightning strikes happened or that there was a controlled burn. Authorities are telling us that if a suspect is found to have started that fire, could be charged with multiple counts of manslaughter, Diane. Okay, Matt Gutman reporting from Florida.